In this video, we're going to show you how we set up our algae bioreactor and demonstrate how to set up a simple bioreactor system for K-12 classrooms. Keep in mind that some of these methods may not be the best solution, but they're what we found to work best based on our experimentation. For our setup, we ran airline tubing from six combined Whisper Tetra 100 air pumps into our systems. The Tetra 100s were combined using T-valves and ran into a HEPA filter, which reduced possible contamination. From the filter, airline tubing was split twice to run into three gain valves. The gain valves further split the tubing by a factor of four, each of which ran into another gain valve. From these gain valves, airline is ran directly into our systems. The valves allow us to control the amount of air being pumped into each Erlenmeyer flask. Each tube running into the Erlenmeyer flasks has a, rub a rubber stopper and an air stone attached to it. Our setup allowed us to run sufficient air into up to 72 flasks at once, up to 12 per pump. For some of our algae, we controlled temperature using heat mats, which were connected to a thermostat controlled with a temperature probe. We controlled light intensity using a light meter. Based on our research, we knew what intensities were ideal for specific species, and we were able to adjust the height of our lights to get those intensities. Lights were plugged into a light timer in order to maintain constant exposure at 14 hours on, 10 hours off. We attached a surge protector to the side of each cart in order to keep all of the plugs organized. Setting up algae to be grown in a windowsill is very simple. Here we have all of our supplies, as mentioned in our supplies video. We have a two liter bottle and a water bottle. We ran both bottles off the same air pump. For this window system, we used a pump which has only one outlet, so we needed to split our airline to run into both bottles. To split the airline, we attached one side of the airline tubing to the air pump and the other to the T adapter. From the T adapter, two airlines with air stones are placed through the hold lid into the bottles. To set multiple bottles up in parallel, a gain valve is ideal. We connected the gain valve to the airline running from the air pump, then connected the bottle's airlines to the valve. We opened the valves to allow flow to both bottles. The bottles were then placed in the window, and the setup was complete. 